In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your phone as a webcam without paying anything, without downloading anything for Android and for iOS. My name is Tree and I make extremely support videos. So be smarter, not harder. But before I begin, I stream every Tuesday and Friday, 8 p.m. Central European Time on Twitch.tv slash Tree. Feel free to join me and hop in and ask any questions. So for this video, I assume that you use Streamlabs OBS, OBS or OBS Live. If you don't use any of these, I hope you're using a streaming program where you can use browser source. If you use something like that, you can use this. So the first thing I want to do is go to obs.ninja. This is a website and it looks like this. I'll leave it down below in the description. The next thing we do is we grab our phone. There's my phone with uh, an old picture of me and my boyfriend. And what we're going to do is we open our browser. This is my Chrome, but you can do this with any browser. We're going to type in obs.ninja. So we get the exact same site as we have here. What we can do now is add your camera to OBS. If you click on that, it will ask you to allow your camera and your microphone and just allow those. Right now, we well, we see me from a weird angle, <laughs> like uh, both there and there and well, yeah, you know. So now we're flipping. We can actually use our phone both ways. What you can do here is click here and uh, we can actually also, instead of the front camera, use the back camera if you would like that. But I like to use this one. And now we just click on start and you get this link at the top. You see that link? You can just copy that link, copy it. And now you can send it to yourself. So let's say we send it through Discord or email or anything that will send it from your phone through your actual PC. I put you guys down here for a sec. <laughs> what we need to do is we get the link to our PC with any any software. It doesn't really matter what, um, as long as you get it via email, via WhatsApp, via um, your Discord, anything. And then we go to OBS. We're here in OBS. I'm using OBS to record this as well, so I disabled the preview real quick. And what we need to do now is click on a plus and add a browser source. We can call that a uh, phone and then click on OK. And then here we paste the code, like the link that we just had and make it uh, 1920 by 1080. I have to think about the numbers for a sec. And we can just remove this and then OK. Now I don't see it yet. <laughs> Let me enable the preview to see. Oh yeah, now we can see that I'm here. I don't really have a good position for this guys. And it seem, we seem to have a little bit of lag right now. I think it's because of the internet. Boom, I've set it on my mobile data now and it's actually um, a lot smoother. <laughs> like you see, like this is kind of the same angle as the camera has right now. So this is a lot better. <laughs> I would definitely recommend that if you have um, trouble with your Wi-Fi trying to do it on the mobile data. Although it costs a lot of mobile data, of course. So be careful with that as well. But yeah, this, uh, this works fine. You can add some filters if you would like to. So that's how I add my phone when I need my phone for streaming for to show something. And I really like it this way. And you don't have to install anything on your phone. So that's kind of like a plus for me. There's other things you can use as well. For example, Elgato has an app for iOS. I don't have an iOS, so I can't use that. And it costs a little bit of money, but it probably works better than this. I have not tested it out because I don't have one. You can also use my phone on Windows itself. My phone is basically what I use here to actually share my uh, phone screen. You can always cut this out. You can also always like mask it out. So for example, if we would have this, this screen and we would go to OBS, get a little streamception, sorry. But if we would add um, game capture and we would add that one screen, specific window, my phone, don't know which one of the two it is. So let's check it out. Okay, th this one is it. And we would actually go to um, well, camera. It will be our camera. We can mask this out. I'm just going to put you guys here. Uh, we can mask this out by using alt and then dragging it in. And then we have a camera. We, we can use this as a webcam, I guess. Um, and it will work like that. <laughs> I think this works actually pretty good. It doesn't work good full screen, but this is something that you can use as well to use as a camera if you don't have a camera, but you do have a phone. I just think there's plenty of options. And I would have stuff going on. It's so hard to actually get a cheap 
webcam. So if you don't have one yet, just use your phone for a while and then when you can afford it or when the prices go down a little bit, you can always switch over to a camera that I use like the Canon M50 or you can get a webcam like I use for up there, which is the, um, the Logitech C920. I will leave links to those also in the description for if you like your upgrade. But right now the webcam especially kind of got over overpriced, just so you know. And I feel lucky today. So what we're going to do is I'm going to send you over to this video that YouTube thinks you like. I don't know what it is, but YouTube thinks you like it. So you better like it. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just going to be mad at YouTube. See you there.